Hello guys, how are you? I hope you are doing fine. How about if we start with a song today? Every day, Every day I go to school. I go to school. I want you to sing. How about if you stand up and dance too? Stand up, stand up. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm great. How about you? Are you dancing? And you're dancing because I am dancing. Come on, move your body. Every day, I go and play. I need new friends. And we all say. And that's it. How are you? Good morning, guys. I hope you're doing fine. Today I'm very happy. I'm very excited that we are here again. Let's start with, okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello again. As a song. Hello. Let's start with our daily routine. Okay. Are you ready? Sit down again and let's do our daily routine. Okay, let's see. Today is chan 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 Today is Wednesday. Very good. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Very good. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Very good. We are already in the middle of the week. The week is almost over. Very good. And you are doing very fine. I'm so proud of you guys. Let's go with the months of the year. Remember the months of the year. Remember that we are on April. Very good. Look at the rain. Look at the rabbit with an umbrella, the butterfly. Okay, the cloud. Very good. Now we're going to talk about something very, very interesting. Okay, remember the season? Do you want to? watch a video about this okay let's go and see a video just give me a second here it is our video about the seasons <laughs> Today we're going to sing a lot. Let's dance again. Come on, let's watch this video. Okay, I think that you can see the video. Okay, let's sing. Are you 
ready? Let's sing. Spring is my favorite season and let me tell you the reason I love spring because I love flowers. Look at those beautiful spring flowers. Is my favorite Lots of season. butterflies in it. Summer is my favorite season and let me tell you the reason I love summer because I love the sun. Summer is my favorite season. Look at the bee. Autumn is my favorite season and let me tell you the reason I love autumn because I love the rain. Autumn is my favorite season. Winter is my favorite season and let me tell you the reason I love winter because I love the snow. Winter is my favorite season. Very good. Now, how about if you tell me which one is your favorite season? Let's go to our presentation. Here it is. Can you see it? Very good. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Which one is your favorite season? I think my favorite season, it can be spring or summer. I don't know. It's a hard question. <laughs> but remember that we are in spring, okay? I want you to see all the flowers, the clouds, the rainbow, and the birds. Very good. Now, let's talk about the weather. Do you think it is sunny or cloudy? I think it is very sunny. Mm, it can be in the morning, kind of party cloudy, but I don't know. Uh, I think it is sunny. Mm -hmm. What is the weather today, sunny? Remember that in spring, most of the days are sunny days, okay? Um, let's talk about the temperature. Okay, the temperature is warm, I think. What do you think? Yeah, it's warm. Let's go to the next one. How do you feel today? I am feeling very happy. Because it is uh, the middle of the week, because I am here with you making these videos for you to learn. And I really enjoy this time. I hope you enjoy it too, <laughs> because we're learning a lot, okay? So tell me, how do you feel today? Sad, angry, scared, silly, excited, surprised or shy or embarrassed, you tell me. Okay, and here is the complete date. You can go and write the date on your book, okay? Wednesday, April, very good. 22nd, 2020, very good. Now, how about if we go to your book? What do you think we're going to do now? Chun, 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 chun. Very good, mental math. This part of our daily routine. Again, we are going to do only five, okay? Are you ready? I'm going to give you a minute. Oh, oh I forgot. It's in page 158. Go to page 158. I'm going to give you one minute, okay? Are you ready? Let's start. Let's start with number. Okay, give me a second. I need my spotlight. There it goes. 
Let's go to number one, okay? Number one. 16 plus three plus 10. Okay, 16 plus three plus 10. Okay, let's go to number two. Five minus five. plus five, minus five. Okay, I'm going to repeat it. Five, minus five, plus five, minus five. It is an easy one. Let's go to number three. 60, listen carefully, 60, Plus three minus one. Okay, sixty plus three minus one. Very good. Let's go to number four. Eighteen. Listen carefully. Eighteen plus three. plus 40. Okay, 18 plus 3 plus 40. And that wasn't a hard one. And number 5. 8 plus 9 plus 20. I repeat, 8 plus 9 plus 20. Very good, and that's it. Very good. Now, let's go to the next page. Let's go to the next page. We're going to go to language section. Are you ready? Okay, how about if you stand up and stretch your body, move your hands, move your feet, move your hand, shake, 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 shake your body. Very good. Are you already in language? Okay. Let's go to page 69, please. Very good, 69. Very good, language, page 69. Are you ready? Okay, types of sentences, review, exclamatory, imperative, and negative sentences. Let's see. An exclamatory sentence show strong emotions and excitement, okay? It ends with an exclamation point. Do you remember this? Do you remember the exclamation point? Let's see an example. This is so easy to remember here. This is so easy to remember. This is strong emotion and excitement, okay? And the imperative sentence makes a request or gives a command, okay? It ends with a period. We've already seen this, okay? Period. You must brush your teeth, okay? That's a command. You must brush your teeth, okay? How about if we saw a video, a quick video? about the difference between exclamatory and imperative sentence. Very good. Okay. Are you ready? Let's start. Exclamatory sentence or exclamation. This is a sentence that expresses a strong feeling, strong emotion, or a sense of urgency. This type of sentence ends with an exclamation point. Okay. The following sentences are examples of this. 
Let's see this. Following sentences are exclamation point. Okay, this is a sentence that expresses strong feeling. Remember, strong feeling or strong emotion, okay? Very good. The following sentences are examples of exclamatory sentences or exclamations. Watch out for that car. That's urgency. I love that movie. Emotion. What an exciting game that was. Feeling. Imperative sentence or command. This is a sentence that tells someone to do something or gives a command. This type of sentence ends with a period. The following sentences are examples of imperative sentences or commands. Read this book for tomorrow. Copy down your homework. Go to bed. And now it's time for writing. Very good. Okay, very good. Now, let's go again to your book. There it is. Okay, so remember an exclamatory sentence shows a strong emotion or excitement, okay? An imperative sentence makes uh, a request or gives a command, okay? Exclamatory ends with an exclamation point and imperative with a period. The thing you have to do is read the following sentence. Write an E if the sentence is exclamatory or an I if it's imperative, okay? Number one, it is raining very hard. What do you think it is? This one or this one? Number two, clean your room. Again, this one or this one. Come back soon. Okay, here is a period, so it's exclamatory or imperative. And number four, this exercise was so much fun. Very good. Now, to make any sentence negative, you must add the word not after the verb. Remember that we've already seen this many times, okay? It is not raining very hard. Look, remember, you only have to add the word not after the verb, okay? Here is your verb, you write not. I'm going to help you with number one, okay? Okay, let me, okay, give me a second going to help you with number one. It says, Pat is watching television. That's an, what do you think it is? That's, it ends with a period, so it is an imperative. Very good. I'm going to help you, okay? Pat is watching television. We want to make this sentence negative. So we have to add the word not after the verb. Let's find your birth. Where is your birth? Here it is. Very good. Watching is your birth, so you have to write. But don't forget your capital letter. Pat is not watching. Oh, I can see the, the end of the sentence. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Let me move this. Okay, but it's not watching television. So I'm going to write it again. Sorry, but it's not watching television. And don't forget your period. Uh, do you see the period? It is because it is, it is an uh, imperative, okay? That is not watching television. Okay, that's it. You have to do to number two or number three, okay? Very good, that's it. I'm going to give you a minute. Ready? Now let's go to your next activity. You have to go to English skills. Very good.
Go to page 38, please. 38. Here it is, page 38. I'm going to give you a second again to go to your page. Okay. Now it says, enrich visible thinking, creative thinking, imagining new ways. Uh, in this activity, you have to imagine you are playing again the let's pretend. Okay. Do you remember this story about the let's pretend club? Yes. If you don't remember, you can read again, reread again the story. Okay. Okay. Now imagine you're playing the let's pretend game. What would your story be about? Who would be the characters? What costumes would you wear? Do you like costumes? I like costumes. Fill in the graphic organizer by drawing your ideas. I want to see beautiful drawings. I know that all my students draw very, very good. Okay? I want to see your drawings uh, with a lot of effort. Okay? And that's it. What would your story be about? Who would be the characters? And what would be the what would the costumes look like? Okay, I want to see beautiful costumes too. Okay, I can't. Uh, I'm so excited about watching your your drawings. Now let's go to your last activity. Okay. Okay, let's go to global citizenship. Sitting citizenship. <laughs> That's like a tongue twister for me. Very good. We're here, global citizenship. Go to page 96, please. Okay, so many people. Do you see all these people here? How about if we watch this video? What do you see? <gasps> Look! Look at that city. What city do you think it is? Look, amazing. No, did you did you see the skyscraper? Skyscraper, very good. Now look at the picture and discuss the following question. Okay, mm, you're not in class, but you can discuss with your mom, with your dad, with your sisters. Do you think the streets, the street always look like this? Like this, very good. Then complete the see think wonder chart okay here it is write three things you see three things you think of and three questions you wonder about about these okay look look this image okay this picture very good so you have to write three things First, what do you see right here? What do you see? What do you think? And what do you wonder, okay? Very good, that's your last activity, okay? And that's it. I hope you enjoy your class today. And I really miss you guys, goodbye. And remember that if you have any questions, you can email me, okay? I am here for you all, okay? Goodbye.